Good morning, PVEA Lakers. Mr. T coming at you, uh, giving you an update on what we're doing to safely reopen our schools. Um, so let me start from the top. Number one, uh, our union leadership from, from day one has been in the loop. Um, Mr. Addison uh, keeps us uh, apprised of, of, any, of all of the changes that come from the state, given that this is uncharted territory, global pandemic. Lots of information gets put out and it changes on a daily basis. Um, you all got the robocall from Mr. Edison, so you know we're going back to school. Um, and he and myself and the rest of our union leadership immediately put a team together at the district level uh, so that our teacher voices and our, our union input would be uh, a part of the process. So we have a district team. Uh, we're following the state guidelines. Um, if you've read the Ohio State guidelines, you pretty much know uh, you'll, you'll get a good idea of what's in the plan. And then also we have to follow the, the, the uh, guidelines that are provided by the uh, local and state health department. Um, so we have that at the district level. Then what we're doing is in each building, there are teachers, a group of teachers working with uh, the building principals to develop uh, a more refined and specific building plan that works for your building uh, specifically. So you have the primary school has a team. And they've, they've met a couple of times. Uh, the middle school has a team and they've met. And the high school has a team and they have met. We're following the guidelines. The, the priority on everyone's mind is the safety of our kids, our staff members, okay? And, and everyone that's, uh, that's involved in the schools. That safety is our number one priority. So, um, Again, we're following the how guidelines, health department guidelines. Now, here's why I can't get on here and, and, and start uh, spouting off uh, the specifics of the plan. And I hope you guys understand this. Um, and that's coming soon. That's coming soon. State and local health departments have to approve our final plan. Um, so it wouldn't be wise and it would not be prudent to start putting out the entirety of our plan uh, to you guys and the public because if it changes, now it's convoluted and it's confusing to everyone involved, especially our parents and, uh, and our staff members. Once the plan has been approved by the board and by the, more importantly, the state and the local health departments, um, we will go over the specifics of the plan. Obviously, there, there is a, uh, a union leader on each one of the building um, teams. Uh, we will all be available to answer questions and to address any of your concerns about the plan. Um, you know, it, it, something could be missed or something could be overlooked. And uh, we understand that it's a work in progress and things will be adjusted as, as needed as we go. Um, I hope this is, uh, I hope this puts you at ease, let you know that since the, since day one, uh, I know I've been in touch with Mr. Edison at least once a week uh, since spring break, um, just getting updates. And, and really, it's just been a waiting game, um, uh, waiting on the state of Ohio to, to set their guidelines and, and, and make policy changes. Uh, so if we've learned anything from that process, I can tell you that um, it, it, it's wise to be prudent to get approval and then put out the information to the folks so that they're not changing it twice in one day and confusing everyone. So that's what we're doing. People uh, on both sides of, of, of the issue, uh, uh, our union, our teachers, and our administrators are working together to come up with a plan to safely, safely reopen our schools. So uh, have a great day. What is it? Tuesday. Have a great Tuesday. Um, and uh, don't hesitate to email or call if you have any questions. Okay. Mr. T, out.